No, in the today's class, we are more focused towards understanding the designing part in terms of uh, Android, how you design particular things, the files, so understanding layouts in Android. Uh, what is a layout? Uh, first of all, in Android, a layout is called as a kind of a file which you create to design the UI inside it. For an example, if I'm creating a login window and I want to put in general simple UI like two of the text fields. In Android, we call text fields as edit text. So if I want to create two edit text, the first one and below to that, the second one, and then I want to put a button below to it, I need a layout file in which I'll create a layout and in that, uh, in that layout file, I'll put these two particular edit text and then below to that one button. Uh, this kind of design which happens, happens around all the layouts. Now Android have different kind of layouts with it for different requirements. We will see it down the line how it goes. So uh, your layout is basically the architecture you can say for your user interface and uh, you can declare your UI elements. Now UI elements when we talk about UI elements are multiple. For an example I can give you as a checkbox, radio button, then you can say as a button, then your text view. Generally people what uh, we are aware of is like a label or something where you declare uh, username and then you give a box to, for the user to enter something. The username which you give generally you call it as a label in Android we call that as a text view. So text views are there, edit texts are there, all these are the UI elements which you put inside your layout file. Uh, now there are, the, so this is like a view, everything in Android is a view, a checkbox is a view, button is a view radio button is a view like this. Now when you create and run the application what happens uh, underneath the framework is when you are running it then the instantiation of all the UI elements happen from the layout file. So that's the background uh, working process what you can say out of the Android uh, framework. Now how many kind of layouts are there? Now let me tell you, uh, it's like a screen or a particular window where I put all these small small UI elements. So these screen basically where I put these kind of UI elements for an example button, checkbox and radio button have different scenarios. Now if I am creating a kind of a UI which is like a linear UI, if I say linear I want to put it in this way that linear in terms of horizontal or vertical. For an example, I have given you the instance of this login window. In login window, I said on the top of it, there will be kind of edit text below to that edit text and then the button. Now, this is a very simple UI where I am following a very simple structure of a vertical direction. The same can be achieved in the horizontal direction. But tomorrow if I am developing an application and a demand comes across to me that uh, you know, boss, what you have to do is you have to create two text fields, one on the left side and then another on the right side and then in between or in the center or below to that in the center I want the button. Uh, these kind of kind requirements can be fulfilled using the relative layout where the views are related to each other. For an example, my first edit text is on the left hand side and my second edit text is on the right hand side and in between I have the button. The button is related to both of these edit text for its position. So if I change the position of the edit text, definitely there will be a change in the position of the button automatically. That is where the relative layout comes into picture. So it's definitely different kind of layouts are there. Now let me show you, I mean uh, as a live practical example. So Let's go and start the Eclipse and from there we'll see how it goes. So I just double click on the Eclipse and just starting. So what happens is uh, different kind of layouts are there. Now these layouts are like relative layout, linear layout. Similarly there are a couple of view groups so which contains view inside it. So when I say view group it's like particular screen which can contain multiple views inside it. That That's what I mean by that.
So when we say uh, table layout, table layout is generally when we uh, heard table, particular thing comes in mind and that is rows and columns. Everyone in every uh, kind of a structure or language anywhere when you see this table layout or table kind of thing, tabular format is like a row column thing. Okay, Sridhar has put a very good point here. So can we say layout is a view group? Exactly, Sridhar. So we will say that layout is like a view group which can contain, so a view group can contain a view group as well as different views. So if somebody asks me, can I put linear layout inside another linear layout, then we can do that. And if somebody asks, can we put in a simple linear layout, different, different views inside it, that is also we can assure that, yes, that can also be done. Uh, now, one thing which uh, we have to look here is, uh, if I can close this, and just proceed towards opening our layout file. So last time I have explained you the structure. Can you quickly ping me if I want to open the layout file in which folder I should look? Just ping me on the chat window. Last time we have talked about. Okay, Suresh has given an answer. Lakshman has also given it. All right, Shantanu has also given the answer. Shridhar has also given an answer. Suman, okay. All right. Divya has given the answer. Utpal has given the answer. Anand, you are missing. Will you also give me? Can you give me the answer for this question that if I want to look? All right, cool. So, got it from you also. Okay, uh, most of you have uh, given the right answer, which is RES. Uh, so, RES is the right answer. Inside the RES, I have a layout folder in which I have to go. So, I have to open this layout folder, and then I will see my different kind of XML files over here. Uh, so, instead of uh, touching upon these files, let's create a new one right away. So, if I want to create a new one, what do I need to do is, uh, I need to click on this layout folder, right click. Okay. Now I just need to go to new and I can come to, do I see an Android XML layout file here? I do not see that. Whenever you do not see what exactly you are looking for, you have an option to select other. Now inside the other when you come, see here comes the dialog wizard in which I can see an Android XML layout file. Do I see that? Yes. So we were at the point of creation of our new file of the XML, which we were creating as a layout file for us. So if I can just uh, click here and give it a name. So if I can give it a name as in, uh, let's say, Eureka sample dot XML, and It gives also me the option to choose in terms of, for an example, the layout which I want to use here. So, uh, first of all, let's go with a simple one, linear layout. Uh, I will click next. Uh, you don't have to do anything at this point of time. Option, I'll choose a specific configuration to limit the XML file, etc, etc. You just need to press the finish button. The moment you do so, a uh, layout file will appear in your layout folder. Everyone can see that second.xml is the layout file has been created and it has also been the layout has also been open in front of us. Okay, Shandu has put up a question where we select a linear layout and all. Shandu, when we create a new file, we go here, come to other this is the Android XML layout file. I double click on this. I come here, I give the name of the files. For example, if I give it the name just for now, abc.xml, the XML extension is required, .xml extension. The naming convention is all the letters, if you give it a name, should be in a small case letters and no, no kind of special character should be there apart from underscore. Underscore you can use and 0 to 9 you can use in between. And from here, you select this linear layout or etc. other other things. That's how we go about it. Okay, cool. Now, just 
cancel this as we already have a file with us. Uh, in this file, uh, what's going to happen is uh, there's a linear layout. There is two layouts attached. So or what I can see is there's a two view in general attached to it. For an example, this is a graphical layout where I can see things, I mean how they are going to appear on my screen. So if I just simply drag and drop a button for that matter, it just comes here and drops it up. Okay. Now if I want to put another button, it will come here, it will come down to it. Uh, the beauty of the deal is uh, linear layout has two of the things. So uh, these are two buttons. One is in the linear layout. So what I was expressing is linear layout has two things in terms of orientation. Orientation is one of the property of linear layout. Now please pay attention for this particular thing. It can be vertical, it can be horizontal. Now whenever you put a view in a linear layout which has a orientation vertical irrespective of where you drop that view automatically it will come below to the other view for an example now here if I put text view okay I put this text view I drag it and I drop it anywhere wherever I want if I drag it anywhere it will come below to this now if somebody asks me to go ahead and do things with let's say toggle button I take this and I put it anywhere it will just come below to text view or I can put it here at the top. The layout needs to be one below the other in case of a linear layout when they when it is like kind of orientation is vertical. Now let me show you one thing quickly. Okay. Let's go to the XML view of this file. Now please observe this pro properly that there as I I have spoken about it. There are two views. One is this dot XML extension and the other one is graphical layout. So if you click on this dot XML extension, it gives you button and then below a button and then below to that a text view. Okay. Now if I change this orientation from vertical to horizontal, if I change orientation from vertical to horizontal, see what is going to happen on my screen. Just for a quick refresh, I will show you the screen is like this. One button below the other and then the next view. Okay? I'm just changing it to other property which is horizontal. I've changed it to horizontal. Now let's come and see what happened. The entire thing in a linear format only changed into horizontal direction one by the other is still but in the horizontal direction. If you keep the orientation as vertical, it would be in what? It would be in the vertical direction. So orientation is one of the property of the linear layout which manages the way you are going to get render over the screen or going to get positioned themselves over the screen. Is that clear with all? That was one of the main property of this linear layout and I can have multiple linear layouts inside one linear layout so it's like uh, L1 can have L2 inside it then L2 can have L3 inside it or L1 can have L L2, L3 both inside it. Sure, San Shantanu has uh, put up a clarification or question. Uh, we do have a graphical controls but it is also required to understand the XML part of it but definitely we do have a graphical controls if you can see here we can change the orientation from here also so if I say it horizontal if I remove horizontal and I put vertical and then I say okay same thing got converted to this so yep it's it's like you can do it both ways but also you would require when you are going to go ahead with a couple of complex application down the line, uh, back and forth kind of interaction with this XML layout will come into picture. So we have to be comfortable from this time itself but both of them. Okay, so both ways we can do it, that's okay. Uh, the Nagar has put up a question, how do we specify both horizontal and vertical orientation? Uh, okay, now if you want to go it with that way, so for an example, if I say in a linear layout, I want uh, 
kind of row and column. It can be either vertical or horizontal. A layout cannot be both horizontal and vertical. In a kind of idea which you can have, for an example, if I want both the things in a linear layout to happen, that is something in the horizontal and something in the vertical. In that case, you can put one linear layout. So for an example, let's say, let me show you one thing. Uh, in this linear layout, what is the type of it currently? It is vertical. Okay. Now, a requirement comes along to me and somebody asks me that, okay, in the next line, I want to put three buttons or let's say two buttons, but both of them should be in a single line. Okay. So, or when we're, what I can say is in a single row. In that thing, what I can do is I can simply go to this layout. So, let me also show you these are the windows. Dinaka says by nested layout. Exactly. That's what. I am coming towards. So you can simply drag and drop this layout here. Once you do that, you can simply put a couple of buttons inside it. So for example, if I put this button here, that's one. If I put another, that becomes here. So within the same design, I can have two kind of stuff the way I want it, uh, provided I need to use two different layouts. A linear, single linear layout cannot be both. It can be only one either vertical or horizontal. That's the way property design. If I walk you through with this, what exactly is here uh, in terms of the form widgets, what you see here, button, large, medium, text view, uh, there are most of them. So I'm not going to go ahead with each of one. Uh, you can do your R&D at your side and just quickly drag and drop stuff and see how they will become. Like you can provide some star rating part, then the kind of what you say as C part, and a simple like quick contact badge in the text fields if you come across we have a couple of fields uh, now let me tell you uh, what used to happen in the previous case okay uh, in the text fields I can have money simply for the simple name first name last name password password numeric all that uh, what used to happen in Android earlier we did not uh, we did not had all these so many controls what we had is uh, like one text field and out of the properties we have to play around to make that according to us but nowadays uh, you have I mean whole lot of options available here uh, in the layout panel you can see there is a grid layout vertical linear layout linear layout horizontal relative layout. Now let's go ahead with the relative layout and see what are the differences we feel there in terms of in terms of the relation between the views with each other. 